So I realized as I went into schedule episodes of 451 to 453 today and then 454 to 455 for tomorrow, schedule next week and stuff. I was going to go do that all this a couple hours ago. I was going to do all this. Then I was like, wait a minute. We're at 450. Where's the special episode? I always do a special episode for every 50 episodes, every, these milestones. I did one for, I think I started at 250. 300, 350, 400. I've already recorded a bunch of them for episode 500. I went full ham for 500. Did like three or four episodes. I did like three or four videos. I guess I never got around to doing anything for 450. I couldn't find any trace of anything. I even asked on Patreon, hey, anybody see any shit? And apparently not. So um, now here I am under the gun. I'm supposed to be editing all day. And I have nothing for 450. And I want to continue tradition. I don't want to break tradition. So I started looking around, okay, well, what can I do? So I screen recorded episode 450 in English. So I tied up my computer for a half hour, screen recorded episode. I said, I'll just rewatch this episode and that'll be my special video. Well, the screen recording crashed. It didn't, it didn't take. So I wasted a half hour and that for nothing. I'm not going to redo it. I'm annoyed. So I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Well, then I decided to look for weird ass opinions on various characters and see if anything strikes my fancy. And guess what? It didn't take long. <laughs> Listen to this. What's your opinion on Nami? This is posted in Reddit uh, almost a month ago. I don't like her. I'm at late water seven. I, I think episode around 250. He's at around 250. So it's kind of appropriate 200 episodes ago. She does have her moments, making sure the crew doesn't get scammed and her love of money can be hilarious. However, her downsides make me take a week long hiatus from the show. Jesus, that's dramatic. I don't think I've hated any character to want to take a break from a show. It's possible, I guess. I don't know, man. Okay. Punching the crew, being an asshole, and being bossy. I still respect if you like her. And hopefully she gets better later. In the meantime, I'm going to go on laughing at simping, simping Sanji and still enjoy the show. So you're a Sanji fan. That's why you don't like her. Just admit it. Don't be afraid. Just admit you're a Sanji fan. You know? I guess there's two, two kinds of people in this world. Sanji fans and Nami fans. And I'm not even particularly a Nami fan. I just don't understand you hate her. Okay, let's go in reverse order. Being bossy. Well, somebody has to be the effing adult on the ship. What's wrong? I've never understood why people get so mad about people being bossy. If you, you know, okay, say somebody tells you, you know, you need to leave this restaurant right now. You're not finished eating, right? Somebody tells you you need to leave this restaurant right now. Just a random stranger walks up. So, keep you stay there and keep eating. What are they going to do? They put their hands on you. That's a whole different thing. But we're talking about, like, people don't like being told what to do. Just ignore them. <laughs> like, Somebody tells you what to do, say, no. <laughs> you need to leave this restaurant right now. No. Why are you upset? <laughs> Just say no and go back to what... The only reason you would be upset is if you think they have some kind of power over you to make you do it, right? That's when you get mad. Kids are mad at their parents for being bossy because they have power over them. Nami doesn't have power over any of these people. Say Nami tells them, you know, squab... Uh, uh, what do they call that? It's not squab the decks. What is it? Um... Uh, Whatever. Clean the decks. Swab. Swab the decks. Say somebody tells, Nami tells them to swab decks, and they don't do it. What happens? She's going to throw them overboard? She has no power over them. Just because somebody tells you to do something, you don't have to do it. You know? I really, I really do believe, though, the people that get angry at somebody telling them to do something is because they're afraid that you can make them. That's why they're angry. Just say, no. <laughs> that's it. That That's the end of the conversation, man. So, I don't get the bossy thing. That's just... Uh, that's irrelevant. That makes sense. Who cares? Plus, she is the only adult. She keeps the trains running on time, essentially. Right? Okay. She's an asshole. Fair enough. She is an asshole. And what's not mentioned here is her being greedy. Other people talk about her being greedy in some of the comments and stuff. But I didn't want to read the comments because somebody may be... They probably won't spoil him because he's at 250. I doubt anybody be an asshole and spoil him. But I think she she's definitely greedy, and I've definitely marked her down for that. Let's let's not get twisted. I've done that. But being an asshole, what what I, here's the thing: the cases of her being an asshole are t situations that don't even involve the straw hats. I 
hate it. This is uh, beyond where we are here on YouTube. But post time skip, she goes into a store and people are like, oh, well, you know, they like her for some reason. She did something to help them. I don't remember the, the exact details right now. But they're like, hey, um, we'll, we'll take the... I think it's Richard and give her like a 10% off discount. She was irritated or whatever. That he, it was only 10%. So he's like, okay, well, I'll give you a 90% discount in the store. It's, she's in the store, right? And then she turns to their bus, like, show no mercy. And they take everything in the store at the 90% discount. You asshole. Now, that's, that's an asshole move. He's being nice. He's doing you a favor and you're going to rip him off. And plus, just the whole idea that, like, yeah, she doesn't want to. Okay, I understand she may not want to pay bus out retail. But it's so effing greedy to be like 90%. Bitch, you're rich, man. You know, 10%, 15%, dis even a 50% discount is probably going too far. No, it has to be 90%. I mean, why do you need all this money if you never want to spend any money? You know what I'm saying? What are you ever going to use it for if, if you insist on a 90% discount and everything? That's annoying. And I didn't like her being, this dude's trying to make a living. Now you probably put him out. He's going to be living in the streets now. You think he gets... Like, you think he stocked his store? Like, it was just, it fell from heaven? You know? He's trying to make a living here. You already are making your living. You're living on a ship. You have room and board. The money you have is a luxury. This person, the money he gets is not a luxury. He's trying to make a living. He's trying to put food on the table, man. You just ripped him off. I hate that. I don't like that. It's not going to make me take a week off from the show, but I don't like it. So, yes, I think it is fair to say she's an asshole. That is a fair criticism, as far as I'm concerned. Punching the crew. Now, my thing is, uh, I've described it several times in the series. It's, it's metaphorical. It's just like any anime. It's like uh, Full Metal, I think, is the first place where I saw that. The Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, the second version of the series. Where it, it usually is, in all anime, it usually is a woman domestic violencing men. Typically is what I've seen. You don't really see it the other way, because I guess it's not funny if it's a guy beating the shit out of a girl. I mean, I, it's... You know, you can look out the window and see that, right? That not, That's not really funny. So I guess what makes this funny is this girl and guy violence. That's interesting. see it all over the place, anime, and I, and I, and I always take it as metaphorical. Because in Full Metal, for instance, she would take a pipe wrench, and she would fracture his skull, beat the dog shit out of him. Fracture his skull, his brains are leaking out of his ears. Like, this man will never talk right again. He'll never walk right again. They're going to have to teach him to use a spoon again. That's how badly she beat him with this pipe wrench. And then 15 seconds later, he's just standing there talking to her again. Like, what do you think happened there, right? Like, you know, you saw the hor horrendous. Like, the violence was so graphic and so horrendous. Like, you throw up in your mouth a little bit. That's how badly she beat him. Like, his... Brain is a paste. There's no skull left. His skull is a fine powder. Like, just completely obliterated his skull with this pipe wrench. And now he's just standing there talking. Like, what do you think happened there? Like, it, it didn't really happen, right? It's metaphorical violence. It's, it's a visual representation of what she's feeling. And clearly she didn't actually beat the shit up. And, and another thing, too, in uh, Full Metal, they would show the ghost coming out. Like... He's dead. His ghost is leaving his body. His spirit is out of here because there's no body left because it's been shattered into a million pieces with this pipe wrench. But then he's all together and his, his, you know, he still has consciousness and he still has a spirit inside him. He's still alive in the next scene because it's metaphorical. It didn't actually happen. You understand that, right? Is it confusing? Are there people walking around this earth who think that, like... Every time we see the domestic violence here on One Piece, it's actually happening? Is that is that a thing? Do people think Nami's actually beating the crap out of these people? Like, for real? The only time I think it might have actually really happened, Nami was completely justified. They had a bunch of money. I don't remember exactly when this was. This might have actually been published. It might be before this point we're at right now. It might have been. Yeah, actually, it was before they got separated, so it had to have been, right? So, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. One of my favorite gags in the entire series. But she was completely justified. So Luffy had wasted all their money. I don't remember what he did. But they had a bunch of money and he just completely wasted it. It may have been he spent it on food. I don't remember. Like he may have bought a bunch of food for a bunch of people or something. But he like they had a set amount of money. 
And it was gone. He had spent almost all of it. And Nami's like, where the hell's the money? She's looking for the money and it's gone. And Lupi says, he, I think he threw a party or something like that, right? And so she was really mad, but she didn't do anything about it. She, I mean, he, she didn't beat him up. But she was really mad he had wasted her money. Then he has the unmitigated gall to turn to her and be like, hey, I want to buy a snack. Uh, give me some money. Right after he had just wasted almost all their money. He dares to turn to her and to ask her for money. And boy, she beat the dog shit out of <laughs> <laughs> the next time we see his face, he looked like uh, Jake Paul or whatever his name is. Jake Paul Lo Logan um, at, right after Mike Tyson works on him, right? Like, his face was obliterated. And he's sitting there and he's like, yeah, I think he apologizes to her. He's like, sorry. <laughs> she tore his ass up. I had to back it up because I didn't understand what the problem was, what he had said, right? I just know that she had just, she went full ham. Like she, man, it was a Friday night fights. She drum rolled his ass. And then when I backed up, I was like, you know what? That was totally justified. You just going to waste all my money. And then you're going to turn around and ask for some. Oh no, 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 no. So yeah, that was justified. So that's what this idiot thinks. This idiot doesn't like her for that reason. Probably because he's a Sanji simp. No accounting for taste. So what do I think? Where do I rank her? We've got nine crew members currently right, right now. Right now, uh, what I'm going to do, there's a, there's a question I do sometimes uh, for sports talk radio. They'll say, okay, the local team will have somebody like Mac Jones, like the, the, pay, the Boston uh, sports talk radio, let's say. Mac Jones was on their team last year. So they'll ask the, 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 the sports host. There's uh, 32 quarterbacks in the NFL, right? And Mac Jones is one of those 32 quarterbacks. They'll say, start at one and list all the best quarterbacks in order and stop when you reach Mac Jones. And the point of that is to see how far down the list you get, right? And so they would rattle off 15 or 16 names before they get to Mac Jones because Mac Jones sucks ass. And so that tells you where they rank. So I'm going to do the uh, the Straw Hats. I'm going to start with my favorite character. I'm going to keep listing favorite characters until I hit Nami. And I would like you to do the same in the comments. Tell me any of the characters you would, you would who you like more, you enjoy seeing on screen more. Now, that's two different questions. There's who you like, and then there's who you enjoy seeing on screen. Those are two different questions. Because... Some characters you may not like, but they do interesting things. They always have an interesting storyline when they're on screen. Like, you know, with Buffy, I don't particularly like Xander, but there's usually something interesting to happen on screen when he's around because he has this snarky, sarcastic attitude. He's always making jokes and stuff. So, who do I enjoy seeing on screen? When they pair off, what storylines I most enjoy? So, so that's what I'll do. I'll start at number one, and I'll list... Straw hats until I reach Nami and we'll see where she ranks. Okay, well, number one is Luffy. Not only do I like him most, he always has the most interesting storylines. He's a protagonist, of course, he can have the most interesting storylines. Uh, number two is Robin. Now, I like Chopper more than anybody but Luffy, but he, Chopper isn't typically in the interesting storyline area. So, so you see my difference here, right? So I'm saying who who's the most interesting to watch? Okay, so Luffy. Robin, Zoro, Nami. And then Frankie would be right below. Rook would probably be at the bottom and, and somewhere with Chopper, right? Yeah. Luffy, Robin, Zoro, Nami. I guess she's fourth. I rank her fourth. She's the, the fourth most interesting character to watch on screen because of what she does, right? Because Robin... Might even be number one just because I'm so interested. Where I'm at right now, she's found something in the jungle under, uh, in Fishman Island. We haven't seen what it is yet, and I've been waiting with bated breath. What the hell is she going to find, right? What, what did she find? What's the information? She's going to be the one to tell us about the Void Century. Assuming she lives long enough. We'll see. So, yeah, I guess she's, my, she's the fourth most interesting. All right, well, 
this is a special Nami episode. I'll eventually do one of these for everybody. But um, if any of them die, I'll do it right then and there. But maybe I'll start doing this for like the milestone episodes because I'm running out of ideas. I did a lot for 50. I did a lot for 500. I don't know what I'm what yet what I'm going to do for 550. I'm getting close to 550. Maybe 550, I'll do a deep dive on Robin, see what people think of her, and rebut some stupid ass opinions on her. Maybe that'll be a new thing I do. I don't know. Let me know. And uh, rank your care, rank, list who you would put ahead of her as far as her, your interest. And, and look, if you don't like her, it's fine. Just don't have a stupid ass reason for not liking her. That's all I ask. Have an actual valid reason. There are valid reasons. She is an asshole. I'm sure there's other valid reasons. So.